Good morning, my friends. Do you want to know why you may not be manifesting the love of your life or why you may not be manifesting the abundance that you desire? Okay, this sounds like an ad, but it's not. It's because the universe doesn't like hoarders. I used to hoard all the time. Hoarding has nothing to do with what you keep in your physical house. Okay, it has nothing to do with what you refuse to let go of in your home. It has to do with what you refuse to let go of as far as your stories go. So follow me. A lot of times we go out for dinner with a friend and we're like, I'm going to wait to see if they treat me first and then I will reciprocate next time. That's a form of hoarding, right? It means you're not trusting, you're not open, you're not taking initiative to go first and take that leap. We do this with love as well. We wait for someone to tell us that they like us because we're afraid to be rejected if we go first. That's a form of hoarding. You have to meet people where you want to be met in life. You have to meet the universe where you want to be met. And you have to go first because that is you opening your heart and believing that when you do that, believing that when you open up to more love, more love comes back to you. This is all a game of opening yourself up more and more and more. And when you do that, you automatically heal yourself. You don't need to focus on healing your past all day long. All you need to do is when your family member takes you off <laughs> or a complete stranger takes you off, you make a choice to open up your heart instead of contracting, instead of feeding into judgment, instead of feeding into sabotage, and the list goes on. So there is nothing more beautiful than vulnerably asking the universe for what you want. You know, a lot of people frown on that, but vulnerability is one of the qualities the universe appreciates the most. And when you get real about your life and when you get real about your situation and you drop into your heart and you openly ask the universe, universe, I've been doing this on my own for a really long time and I am running on fumes. I need support. I can't do this on my own anymore. Or universe, I don't want to handle the business side of things in my life. I want someone to take care of that for me. Can you please send me someone who would be a great teammate or a great partner? The universe responds really positively to that. But then you have to get ready because as soon as you ask for it, it's done. The universe is like, your wish is my command. And then it's going to start sending you countless opportunities throughout the day which is why you have to pay attention to the signs and the clues so that you can keep flowering, so that you can keep opening up into what you want. You see, the way that you respond to your family members can either be loving or it can be defensive. The more loving you are, the, the, the closer you're inching to the love of, the, of your life that you want to manifest. It's all love. It has nothing to do with friends or family or any of this. It's all about your vibration. So the next time you go for dinner with a friend, pick up the check. Take a leap of faith. Go first. If you live like this your whole life, right? If you think about actual hoarders, they don't want to let go of their books or whatever it is that they're holding onto in their house. Think of the symbolism in that. They don't want to let go. They're holding on to stories. Sometimes quite literally to books. <laughs> but they're holding on to stories. And so the part of you that doesn't want to tell someone I love you first is you holding on to and feeding into a story that you're going to get abandoned. That someone's going to drop you. That someone's going to cancel you. That someone's going to reject you. At some point, you've got to disinvest from all of those stories that keep your trauma alive. And when you keep your trauma alive, your heart is always closed because you're in survival mode. You're always looking over your shoulder. Is this person going to screw me over? Right? Are they going to abandon me? So at some point, you've got to lay your sword down and stop the fight. You have to surrender. I'm telling you, you guys, there's magic that starts to happen when you are willing to be vulnerable, when you're willing to ask the universe for what you want from a very sincere place, okay? It's like a jukebox, one of those old traditional jukebox. 
you want that song to play, you've got to put the money in first, you know, and then it's going to play. You've got to place your request in the universal jukebox of life. Universe, I would love to have this. Universe, I would love to have that. Not because you're afraid, but because you're getting real about your situation. You're getting real about how far you've gone on your own and now you don't want to do it anymore. You're at the end of your rope and you need more assistance and you need more emotional support. It is so beautiful when you can vulnerably ask for that help, you guys. Okay? But then you have to pay attention to the lessons that arrive forth every day. How are you treating your family members? How are you responding to people? Are you being giving? The more open you become, the closer you're inching to what you want to manifest. That's the secret. It's all about openness. And remember, when you open up your heart and you counteract who you used to be, right? The part of you that was always waiting for other people to show up first, when you take that leap, okay, you, you automatically heal your heart. You automatically heal your trauma because you're going against your previous patterning. So just keep that in mind, my friends. Everything you want is here now. It is vibrationally here now. A lot of people are way too controlling. They're like, I don't need a man. I don't need a woman. But it sounds like you're lying to yourself because you're putting up a front. Drop into your heart and start getting honest about what you want. That's the key. Stop trying to be a badass. Everyone can see that you're not being genuine. Okay, this is about being authentic and about getting real. The magic is all here for you. Everything you want is here vibrationally. It may not have appeared physically yet, but it's here. And what's going to determine whether or not it arrives physically is if you open up into it. But you have to open up your heart. You have to be willing to get expressive and vulnerable and honest and all of that stuff. All right? I love you guys.